Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The World Anti-Doping Agency is to launch an extraordinary audit of the drug testing practices of the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission, JADCO. According to the Associated Press, the audit follows claims by former JADCO head Anne Shirley that the body's policing of the island's track athletes collapsed in the months before the 2012 London Olympic Games. Doctors last week performed the first kidney transplant operation at the Cornell Regional Hospital in St. James. Six persons benefited from the surgeries. JLP leader Andrew Holness has suggested it would be a backward step if delegates do not return him to that position in November. Holness is to face his deputy Audley Shaw in a November 10 election. The Independent Commission of Investigations says the Jamaican government should consider compensating Vanessa Wynne's family for the breach of her right to life and for negligence. The former ward of the state committed suicide in November last year. The Jamaica Teachers Association is appealing the September dismissal of two teachers from the Fair Prospect High School in Portland. The female teachers were dismissed after they were reportedly involved in a fight on the school's compound. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be partly cloudy in the morning with scattered afternoon showers and isolated thunderstorms. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Joven Johnson.